Hello, everyone, and welcome. Um, hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Cybersecurity Awareness with No Before, Securing the Human. Uh, in today's this session, we will deliver a deep dive on how to help your employees grasp a culture of security and help protect themselves from security threats. After this session, you'll be on your way to understanding the necessary tools needed to protect your organization from all kinds of threats and have the vital knowledge of the No Before platform. This meeting is being recorded and all registrants will receive a link to view it later this week. We ask that you stay on mute because we have a sizable audience for today's content. Uh, before we get started, I want to thank everyone for being here. Um, and just in case you didn't already know, this event is being hosted by Worcester, your premier IT partner. Our mission is to help organizations maximize their use of the cloud. We work side by side to help our clients make good technology decisions um, to grow their business in ways that they wouldn't have the ability to do so otherwise. This helps organizations um, develop a cultures of continuous innovation powered by real-time collaboration. With all that collaboration, however, organizations have a lot to worry about in, when it, in terms of cybersecurity. That's why we're here today and why we have our know-before expert, Katrina, on the call. Um, I'll give it over to Katrina to delve into our topic for today's session. Perfect. Let me get to Sharon on my side. Make sure everyone is able to see my screen. Yep, we can see it. Yes. All right, fabulous. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, my name is Katrina. I am a channel account manager and product specialist over here at Noble 4. I've been here for about seven years um, and I'm working with Worsted to help uh, support continuous conversations on uh, human security for organizations. Um, so first thing I definitely want to cover is, you know, how important people are. You know, people are crucial to every organization. Um, all organizations have employees and let's face it, you know, we all make mistakes. That is just natural with human error, uh, hum human behavior, so to speak. Um, and although phishing has become really the most notorious um, of cyber threats, people can exhibit many other uh, behaviors within the organization that can put it at risk. So um, No Before has branched out to focus more on human security culture, not just phishing. Um, so you can learn about different ways that organization or your users can put your organization at risk, such as um, sharing of per, uh, PII or use of things like USB devices, um, even use of websites that can be considered risky. Now, more than ever, uh, really, humans should be included as an important part of the security stack. It's no longer a matter of if something gets through the layers of security that are there. Um, from a phishing side, it's a matter of when. Um, and with all of these other different methods that users can um, generate risk in the organization, it's important to really train them. And we focus on um, the human firewall uh, really being your last line of defense because it's it's about phishing, it's about um, credential harvesting, it's about smishing, it's about vishing, it's about so many other elements uh, that people really need to learn about out there. Um, so as employees are going to be your last line of defense, it really is important to um, train them on the different threat factors. Um, so spear phishing is still continuously the leader of the pack there um, with, you know, 91% of data breaches on average stemming from spear phishing attacks. Um, a close secondary is compromised credentials. Um, you know, year over year that continues to go up. Cyber criminals are trying to get within the network to get your information to do more devious things. Um, it's about a long-term gain a lot of times. Um, you also see things like W2 scams, um, you know, targeting specific departments and specific titles um, for, uh, harvesting immediate responses, and then ransomware, which is uh, another notorious one out there that we see um, on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis here. Now, here you're able to see uh, the variety of threats that are used um, targeting humans in an organization. Um, this chart is detailing about five years of data. So um, as you can see, you know, phishing and credential harvesting um, are going to be really at the top of the list um, continuously. Um, you're going to see some other threat factors that are in here. But really, humans are um, a high value and probability target um, at a low cost to the cyber criminals. So, um, you know, it's going to be the most cost effective way for them to 
have kind of a blanket approach in um, targeting organizations, uh, multiple organizations at a time, multiple people in each organization at a time. Now, Know Before does a incredible job of providing um, resources and information for you to utilize um, to help train your users. Um, you know, it's really important to consider, you know, are you taking the right actions um, and are you using the right resources to help prevent social engineering in the organization? Um, so this right here is an example of one of the free resources that we provide. Um, we've got a multitude of things, um, free resources, we've got um, customer resources um, when you're in inside your console. Uh, we've got the blog and Cyber Heist News, really just providing insight as to what type of threats are out there, what's happening out there in the wild. Um, and things like this are great to utilize to share with um, your staff on, on you know, a quarterly basis or um, to utilize as a PDF so that they can see, um, you know, the more that are around for them to visualize. Um, it really is kind of like a marketing tactic where the more often they see it, the more it's going to resonate. Um, that really ties hand in hand with um, conditioning users to make smarter security decisions with what we do in our platform um, and, and what you're able to do in training the users and then supporting um, active testing to ensure that they're retaining that information. Now, with that being said, um, another big time threat that you may see is CEO fraud. Um, so this kind of tracks the history of what you can expect with CEO fraud. Um, it's, you know, a lot of times they're using domain spoofing, they're trying to spoof an executive, right? Um, and this can go to some key uh, departments in the organization, um, you know, finance department, CFOs, human resources, and, um, because the target is receiving something that is from a trusted source um, and seems to be uh, look like it's coming from inside the organization, right? Um, they're going to respond without reflection. They're not going to question that source. They're going to say, "Oh, yep, I'll I'll get right on that." And most of the time, these are obviously, um, you know including a, a sense of urgency. Uh, we need this now. Um, uh oh, I forgot to do this. I need you to do this for me, right? So. Um, they, they jump on it thinking that they're being helpful again, uh, kind of just leaning into human behavior. And that's what social engineering is all about, right? So uh, as the, the attack is uh, successful, um, it can create a multitude of um, types of fallout. Um, and, and this doesn't just go for CEO fraud. It goes for um, some of the other vectors as well. Um, you know, everything from downtime to uh, money that's lost, you know, people losing their jobs, lawsuits, um, you know, reputation of the company, uh, which can directly impact stock values, personal information being lost. Um, so there's a lot of scary stuff out there. Um, and again, Know Before has a lot of information, um, free resources and customer resources as well uh, to help you create a, more, a, a better awareness culture in your organization. Now, it is very important um, as you're, if you don't have a current program um, to ensure that you put one in place that is a fully mature program. Um, you know, training on its own isn't going to be successful. Um, fishing on its own isn't gonna be successful. Um, so putting them hand in hand uh, together, you know, establishing your baseline to see where your user's knowledge is currently at with phishing, um, having everyone go through a fundamentals training, uh, phishing users at least on a monthly basis to reinforce that knowledge and providing them a safe environment to fail in because cyber criminals aren't going to care, you know, what they're targeting you with or how they're targeting you, um, when they're targeting you. Um, but if they fail with a cyber criminal attack, you know, it's going to be a, a much more daunting experience for them. Um, so providing them that safe environment to fail so that way they know and, and can learn from their mistakes. Um, that's what really is going to create the cultural shift in the organization and condition the users overall to make smarter security decisions. Now, I know I mentioned human security culture has really been our, our focus our, as we evolve. Um, know before is 
most known for our security awareness training and phishing platform. Um, some of you may have heard our, our name, have been to webinars in the past, you know, have seen us at conferences, you know, where we've really been invested in the niche of security awareness training and phishing. Uh, that's what we were founded on. But we realized over time that there is just so much more that ties into human security culture than phishing, right? So we wanted to ensure that our customers had the ability to um, educate their users on, on other elements. Um, so one really cool uh, new product that we released called, was called Security Coach. Um, so Security Coach actually ties in to your existing security stack. It's going to um, integrate with things like Cisco and CrowdStrike, Code 42, Carbon Black, um, all the risky behaviors that you may be tracking in the organization, whether it's you know website use, whether it's um, use of USB drives, or maybe um, logging in using a VPN, um, that can trigger um, notifications to you as an admin uh, to say, uh-oh, somebody broke this rule. Now that can be a lot of great data, but uh, it can be challenging to comp compile. So Security Coach is the first technology of its kind, which actually provides you um, one pane of glass to store all of that information and provide real-time coaching uh, when people do break those rules. So, you know, if, if people are exhibiting those risky behaviors, it notifies the platform and there's gonna be a notification delivered via Teams uh, Slack or email uh, to notify them, uh-oh, you broke this rule. Uh, this is why you shouldn't do it. This is what you did. Um, so that way the end user knows that it's actually attract behavior for them to be aware of and, you know, learning from not doing it anymore. Um, and then you can help secure the organization by storing that that data in one place and support remedial training if you're seeing consistent behaviors from the same people or um, if you're identifying a gap in understanding across the board with your user base. Uh, now, we've also added on a training content extension in our platform called Compliance Plus. So uh, this can help support with risk, regulatory, and HR training needs. Um, so everything from PII to HIPAA, um, to Sarbanes-Oxley, we've also got um, sexual harassment, workplace safety, physical security, all that kind of stuff is gonna be under the Compliance Plus umbrella. So not only can you um, leverage our platform for your cybersecurity education, um, you also have the LMS uh, learning management system utilized for your compliance side of the house, uh, which can help you save some money as an organization as well. And then the last, um, Part of our security suite is called Fish ER. Uh, so Fish ER was created because by default, we created a secondary problem. Um, as you train users to make smarter security decisions and report suspicious emails in their environment, and you give them the quick, easy way to do it, um, which is you know that that fish alert reporting button, you're going to see an uptick in the number of emails that your your organization is seeing as potentially suspicious or malicious. Um, they could be clean, they could be spam, or they could be threats. So how do you actually manage all of those additional reported emails? And that's really where Fish ER comes into play. It's going to help you um, use a lot of automation, machine learning to um, help reduce the amount of noise. You don't have to review the same email multiple times. You can create rules, tags, and actions uh, to automatically resolve things. And you're going to start to see less and less emails that you have to manually review. Um, this is going to help you to identify threats faster. Um, so you can actually take action on those threats if you do identify one. Um, we've got Fish Rip in the Fish ER uh, platform, which means that if you do identify a threat, you can run a query of all the email inboxes in your network and you can rip that away from users' fingertips and quarantine it in the platform. And then we've also taken that a step further. Uh, if you wanted to defang that malicious email and you wanted to send out uh, a simulated email mirroring that, you can literally rip that malicious email out and replace it with a simulation. You can see exactly how the users would have responded to that um, specific email. So um, lots of cool features and advancements that are, are in our platform to really expand on uh, human security culture and human detection and response. It's not, again, just about the phishing these days, right? 
So I would love to open it up to questions. If anybody has any questions um, or if anybody would like more information on anything from our product suite, I can actually leave this up. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to support the conversation on that um, as well as the Worsted team. Um, they'll be reaching out to, um, to follow up with you guys as well. But um, any questions from the audience about our product suite or any, anything that I kind of covered today? No? Fair enough. Well, if you guys are scared to talk to me, that's okay. Uh, you, like I said, you guys can reach out to um, the Worsta team um, or you can find my information um, as, as well. I'm on LinkedIn, um, but happy to help support the conversation in, in supporting human culture, human security culture overall. Um, you know, whether it's what you guys are currently doing, uh, what's not working. Um, if you're if you're currently using the platform or currently using something else and you need uh, to build a more robust program, um, you know, happily reach out. We're happy to help uh, foster that conversation and see how we can help you. Yeah, and if, and if anyone doesn't want to speak up, feel free to use the chat to like drop any questions in there as well. Um, we'll be happy, like we'll be monitoring the chat um, to answer any questions. Well, I guess uh, I guess I was very comprehensive today. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and hopefully we'll be hearing from uh, some of you folks soon and seeing how we can help you uh, continue the conversations internally.